Sean Sewell with ingearmit.com in our wonderful, beautiful mountains of Colorado to do a quick wind jacket comparison video for you. I have with me three wind jackets that we have great experience with for some of them a decade plus, and they're very similar in characteristics. And if you're looking for a wind jacket, these three may have popped up and you're probably wondering what the differences or similarities are and which one's right for you. So in this video, I will show you the fit features and functions and go over my experience with each of these three jackets. Let's get into it. The jackets are the tried and true Patagonia Houdini jacket right here. This one's years old. The Arcteryx Squamish and my favorite of the last two years, the Mountain Hardware Core Pre-Shell or whatever they call it nowadays, Core Stretch um, wind jackets. Let's go over the Arcteryx because A is the first letter in alphabet. So the Arcteryx Squamish is a 30 denier material with a PFOS free DWR coating. Very slight mechanical stretch to it, not too much. This is the jacket version. There is a hoodie version, of course. It's a very streamlined, lightweight, packable wind jacket that blocks the wind, uh, has a PFOS free DWR coating, and typical Arcteryx fashion, it's quite fashionable. And it fits really, really good. And it just is made exceptionally well. It's, it's everything you want, like Arcteryx always is. It's hard not to recommend Arcteryx. Sure, they're often the most expensive, but the build quality is second to none. Warranty is great. One of our riders, Clay, works at Arcteryx and repairs clothing and backpacks for them. They stand behind their stuff. No, I'm not paid to say any of this by Arcteryx. Nor Mountain Hardware or Patagonia. Just happen to have these three jackets with me. You get elastic cuff right here. So if you are washing dishes like we will be washing later, it's nice to slide the cuffs up and keep them out of the way. Collar is nice, it's not too dramatic. Get a little bit of sun protection right there. The zipper is not too small, kind of kind of nice size for a lightweight jacket. You get two zippered hand pockets, and within the left side pocket, you get an additional pocket to hold your key or credit card or uh, salt pack or whatever even handier right there and of course both hand pockets are zippered as well you get adjustable in the hem which is pretty nice a lot of wind jackets don't have any kind of adjustability and the fit is great again i'm six foot 45 inch chest 33 inch waist 36 37 in the arms 215 pounds kind of athletic build and this is a great fit msrp is i think around 180 bucks for the arcteryx squamish there he is and he is white <laughs> and he is gets dirty real quick so um gray let's do the patagonia houdini the tried and true i have friends who have had their houdinis on missions their navy seals and they always keep one with them i've had friends take this to denali i've had not this exact jacket i've had friends use these for all kinds of activities um it is again a men's extra large you can see the tags a little bit worn down from years and years of use but um, I wish I had with me the newest version I did a review on about six months ago of the Stash Half Zip, which is a different material than this Houdini. It's a little thicker. This one is uh, a thinner material. has a little bit of mechanical stretch, as you can see. Got a tiny ass zipper with no dongle. There's no hand pockets. You do get a little pocket up here that you can also stuff the jacket into. Uh, you do get elastic cuffs. However, you see the fit, at least on this version of this year, the cuffs and the, the sleeves are a little bit short for my 36, 37 arms. The hood, surprisingly, is adjustable. There's a tongle right there. A little short right here. But again, this is a couple years old, but just wanted to include it in the mix. Price is a little bit less, usually around 100 bucks or so for the Houdini. It goes on sale all the time. It's real basic. It stays in my backpack every day year round whether i'm hiking or split boarding or backpacking not so much for myself but as backup i have a friend with me and something goes a little sideways and they don't have a wind jacket with them for the small price of three or four ounces i got them i got them covered and i like to be the hero in that mode and um, everybody's happy now on to i'll just say it my favorite and it has been my favorite the last two years if you've seen any of our wind jacket reviews this is the mountain hardware pertex I believe they called it core for a while or maybe it's called uh, pertex air but it has a four-way mechanical stretch 
It is the most breathable of those three jackets, but yet still windproof. I don't know what the air permeability is on it, but it is higher than the Houdini and higher than the Squamish. Get a full size zipper right here. It uh, is very, very comfortable. It's more of a soft shell kind of jacket than the more wind shell, typical wind shell. And you get two hand pockets. Get my dog poop bags. You can tell how much I use this jacket. This is my go-to jacket. I like it so much. I have two of them. I have the, the hoodie, which you see right here, and I have the jacket. The jacket stays in my everyday carry backpack year round. And then this one stays in my backpack along with the Houdini, but this is the one I opt to 90% of the time. Hood is fantastic. Fantastic hood. Great coverage right there. However, not adjustable. But over a hat or over a beanie, it's it's really nice. Elastic cuffs, absolutely. You can get them up out of the way. Because we're washing dishes later. Uh, the length is great. The fit is great. It's very comfortable against the skin. I have slept in this jacket dozens of times. It's just it's a nice layer. Just adds a little bit of warmth when you need it. The mountain hardware is just so versatile and attractive and useful. And all of them have a, a PFOS free DWR. All of them are easy to wash. I used to use Nick Wash or Nick Wax, Nick Wash, Nick Wax Tech Wash. <laughs> and I should do a video on them because they keep sending me the, the Tech Wash to wash all the gear and I keep telling them I'm gonna do a video. Recommend Nick Wash in a heartbeat, the Tech Wash. And then um, they have a nice wool care as well. And a downproof. The downproof is legit for washing your down sleeping bags. But that's not why I came here to learn how to wash clothes. You came here to see how these three jackets looked and compared. And I'm going to do part two, much more detailed, probably a 20, 30 minute video on other wind jackets we've tested over the last year or so. And of course, if there's a wind jacket you'd like us to include in the review that we have not done yet, I'll be happy to reach out to the company. Just let me know what brand it is. Or if you have a contact with them, let me know who to contact and I'll get that going. Because more than anything, I just want this to be a learning opportunity for all of us to see how things work, how they function in the real world, and see what is the right item for you to get outdoors and have fun. I'm Sean Sewell, the owner and director of Stoke for Engearment.com. Until next time, take care.